I'm gonna talk a bit about leaf skeletonizers on grapevines. This is always been kind of our bane or our biggest battle with our grapes is trying to fight these uh, leaf skeletonizers. So let me see if I can find, well, let me show you first. This is what happens when you let it go unchecked for not very long. That's just, I don't know, maybe two weeks of not tending to them. You can kind of see that they have absolutely destroyed the leaves. You can just kind of see they go in there, they start to eat that leaf and they just take over. I mean, they are everywhere on here. So let's see if I can zoom out again. Yeah, so right there. Now these are some, These are some smaller ones, but they get much smaller than that. You may be thinking, what's the big point? Uh, why do I have to worry about them at this point? We're in autumn uh, or fall and the leaves are gonna be falling off here in probably a month in Southern Utah, maybe a month and a half, but the grapes are done. I'm not gonna get another harvest. So you can ask, what's the point with that? One of the things you've got to factor in is that if left untreated, these leaves aren't going to be there to continue to photosynthesize and produce and store energy for next year. So it could weaken, possibly even kill the plant. It's not something I want to chance. So what we've done is we have sprayed this with some BT spray, which is um, a compound. It's safe for your pets, safe for yourself, safe for uh, pollinators like bees. It's not gonna hurt them. The BT compound that I used was, it's specifically for worms, um, caterpillars, and it will go in and basically as I spray the leaf, they will consume it and it's going to alter their pH inside their gut, which will ultimately kill them. But when your grapes are looking like this and you've done what I've done and let them get out of control, then it's going to take quite a bit. So I went through an entire bottle, uh, probably 20 ounces just to get most of what I see here. At this point, I'm not trying to, or fully trying to eradicate them. I don't know that I'm gonna accomplish that because they've kind of grown out of control. If I can just allow the majority of the plant to remain healthy and have leaves uh, to store that energy for next year in the plant. That's kind of my goal here. So yes, we're about to start pruning down these vines here in a couple of weeks still worth allowing them uh, to remain healthy and store all that energy in, in, through the photosynthesis process, which means you still need to watch out for those leaf skeletonizers. Wanted to see if I can get a closer picture of uh, this Western grape leaf skeletonizer caterpillar for you. This is what they look like. So you can see they have two bands of blue they're mostly bright yellow. Then they have these black bands as well. And something I just found out, which makes a lot of sense. I've wondered why I always feel like I'm getting bitten by something. They actually are poisonous. Um, the black part has hairy barbs on it that have a venom that will cause welts. So when handling these vines um, and trying to eradicate these pests, it is best to wear long sleeves and gloves.